Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Dibri Studios. Today I'm going to be giving you 5 tips on how to get started on YouTube. Alright guys, what's going on? So, 5 tips about how to grow or start your YouTube channel if you don't have any. So the first thing I would like to say, tip number one, is stick with the niche. You don't just want to make random videos about random things. That's one of the mistakes that I did when I was starting out on YouTube. Um, I would just make these random videos like my first video was snails invading Wichita Falls and all it was was snails sped up. You don't want to do that because then like, when I post that nobody knows what my niche is. I mean it could be about snails then my very next video was something about my dog or something. So your niche, you want it to be something that you like. So if you don't really like to game, don't just make a gaming channel because you think that it's popular. You want to pick a niche that you really do like. I, I've always loved filmmaking, so that's what my channel's about. Um, the, my second tip is be consistent. So I used to post videos months apart. Sometimes I would post like three days in a row. And then it would be a few months until I did any videos again. So you just want to make sure that you go on a daily basis. It's easier for people to subscribe to you. Um, they're, you're easier to follow pretty much when they know what to be looking for. They're waiting for another video. It's just better. Like one of my favorite YouTube channels, Cinecom, they post every Fridays and Tuesdays. You don't even have to go that much. Maybe once a week. Once a week at the least. And tip number three, an editing software. So you don't have to go all out and do a whole bunch of CGI stuff. I just really like doing that. But you really can do whatever you want to. If you're using a phone to edit your footage, which you can even shoot on a phone, um, I, I recommend a free app called KineMaster. K-I-N-E-M-A-S-T-E-R, KineMaster. Um, it's really great for video editing. You can even do chroma key on there, which you can't do with a lot of mobile apps. Um, or if you're using the computer, Filmora 9 is a great free video editing software. Let me turn up my shutter speed real quick. It is a great video editing software. Um, and if you do want to invest a bit, maybe don't do this until you've made a few videos and you know that you like it. But if you do want to invest a little bit, then you could buy After Effects, which is what I use. And I really love it. It's great. Um, and there's other things. You can also use Premiere Pro, which is also made by Adobe. Um, there's just a ton of great editing programs out there that you can get for free or for a small amount. Okay, so my fourth YouTube tip for beginners is a channel name. You want something that's catchy and maybe don't include numbers in your name because when you do that, it's hard for people to remember what it is. Like, which sounds better? Hey, check me out at Jackson underscore 50109 apostrophe X on YouTube. Or, hey, check me out at Jackson Trivia. Like, I think just shorter, sweeter names are much better because they're easier to remember. You're like, like, Brightside is a great YouTube channel. It's like, Brightside, you can tell anyone that. They know what to type in, they know how to spell it. Um, you could use your name, that's a great idea. Or just make sure that it has something to do with the kinds of videos that you make. I make filmmaking, so I made it Dippery Studios. Studios having to do with it, and Dippery being my last name. Um, and my fifth and final YouTube tip is your logo. You don't want it to be extra, extra detailed, because just remember that when it's shrunken down there in the YouTube system, you're not going to be seeing a lot of detail. And what I see a lot of people doing is just downloading something off the web. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you're going to get copyright claimed, whatever. You're not going to get fined, but it just, you get a better feeling of creating. Because that's who you are on YouTube. You're a creator. So you want to make your own. A great way to do this for free is on, if you're using a computer, then go down to the little search bar on Windows 10 at least. I'm not sure how to do this on Apple. But Microsoft Paint is free. It comes with your computer. Um, just use that and you can create any kinds of logos real fast. Just use your mouse. And then, 
And then also, if you have Adobe Creative Cloud that has After Effects and Premiere Pro in it, this is what I use to create my logos. I use an app in the Creative Cloud called Adobe Illustrator. Just great for nice, clean looking. They, you can even save it as a PNG. So that is my fifth and final YouTube tip. Also, this video was recorded on a Lumix G85. So if you think this video looks nice, go down in the description and click on the link and you can check out the camera there. And just remember, when you buy the camera or when you buy anything on Amazon after clicking on the link in the same day, I get money. So thanks a lot and I'll see you on Dipper Studios.